Hello and welcome back and in this video we'll take a look at uh, one of the sorting algorithms called bubble sort. Without a further ado, let's get started. Bubble sort. It's one of the simplest sorting uh, algorithms and the name of this algorithm is derived from its uh, computational mechanism. In fact, uh, the the movement of a bubbles, uh, the real natural bubbles, uh, probably could have visualized that it gets moved from one end to the other like based on the hierarchy or based on the density and so on right so this algorithm or the computational mechanism of this algorithm is just like how the bubbles moves and hence the name bubbles sort right and it's not a very efficient algorithm you can see the order of growth is quadratic which is the worst case scenario is uh, big o of n square and uh, since uh, it's not pretty much uh, useful for sorting uh, quite a large number of uh, elements but it could be used efficiently for uh, list consist of uh, very few entries or something like that let's discuss about the actual procedure or the computational mechanism of the sorting algorithm right so first procedure is to traverse the element from the left to right generally it is done left to right and uh, we if considered a n an array have uh, n uh, entries and it generally traverse from uh, the left to right and during the traverse it just checks whether uh, you know this uh, particular element uh, is greater than this or lesser than this and depending upon the uh, sorting uh, requirement we can probably make use of that right something that's basically the traversing from left to right and uh, it does a pairwise comparison like for example you take this particular thing uh, initial element a0 and a1 it just compares like whether a0 is greater than uh, a1 or less than a1 so based on the requirement it gets sorted right so it gets interchanged or swapped as on the go and finally one complete you know traverse or one complete you know traversing is called pass and to sort the list based on our requirement it takes multiple passes right so that's basically the bubble sort right and uh, for example this is an uh, ascending or increasing order sorting so which means it checks whether this is less than this which is ai you can generally call ai less than ag then if it is such case then it just uh, moves to the next bubble which they consider this bubble and this bubble and checks whether this bubble is less than this if the order is like uh, less than uh, as as in this uh, predicted image and it's fairly fine but if this particular case if this is greater than this then we have to really interchange to make this condition valid for ascending order or increasing order sorting we'll be explaining this in detail with the numerical example but understand that this is a concept behind the bubble sort and so as the uh, decreasing or uh, you know descending uh, order uh, bubble sort right something like so this particular thing uh, is greater than this aj then it is fine we will be uh, decreasing the uh, order but in case if it is vice versa we will be swapping it and then we will move on to this a1 and we will go to this and then in the next step this will become ai and this will become aj so at as it goes till n a n right so um, pretty much like uh, in every passes as i mentioned passes is the one complete traversing in every passes the number of comparison is n minus 1 for the per, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, uh, the first pass it is n minus 1 and in the next pass is n minus 2, pass 2 is n minus 2 and pass 3 is n minus 3 and pass k intermediate pass like 1 between k between 1 to n it is n minus k and at the nth pass we generally don't have nth pass because the number of maximum number of passes for complete sorting is n minus 1 at n minus 1 the comparison is just like 1 something like that so we will be only left with the first two to compare between right so we'll be discussing or you'll be visualizing that in much detail during our uh, actual numerical exercises but as of now understand that right and i told you swapping let's take a look at that for an ascending order sorting if ai is less than aj we don't need any swapping but if ai is greater than aj we need a swapping so this case it's an ascending order if ai is less than aj we don't have to swap this but if it is vice versa if ai is greater than greater than aj then this gets swapped here and this gets swapped here to maintain this logic of a1 less than a0 so the order of swapping matters 
and uh, this is the uh, you know uh, swapping mechanism this is in theta right right so as i told you uh, for every uh, you know uh, pass say first pass we'll be taking n minus 1 comparison the reason is that we come this is a pairwise comparison we compare this with this then this with this and so on and finally we will have penultimate n minus 1 and with a n a n minus 1 compared with a n so it's just like when you do a pairwise it is just like n minus 1 comparison for the first pass and then this will become sorted in the first pass so this gets freezed and no more changes and then remaining n minus 1 uh, elements are available on uh, second pass which is uh, the second pass we'll have a comparison till a 0 to a n minus 1 so the comparison will be a in uh, i mean n minus 2 comparisons so we'll be discussing that uh, or we'll be visualizing in the numerical example section but as i have now understand in every pass uh, we will be having this uh, pass and this a uh, comparison remember the first pass i told you n minus 1 and second pass it is n minus 2 remember like pass equals to that if pass is k kth pass it is n minus k this k this corresponds to the pass like second pass n minus 2 first pass is n minus 1 right so n minus second pass n minus 2 the pass is n minus here instead of this k to 1 we will be generally substituting n minus 2 so which means n and n, n get cancels and minus and minus becomes plus this will become 2 on n minus 2 pass this will have a two comparisons and n minus the penultimate uh, pass this is a maximum pass you can have n minus 1 pass and that is n minus n minus 1 so that will become one comparison and why we don't have nth pass is that on the nth pass it is n minus n is equal to 0 so we don't have it's already sorted in n minus 1 itself so we don't need any comparison at all right something like that so that's a basic logic and if you take a look at this closely uh, the first pass is n minus 1 comparisons and second pass is n minus 2 and total number of passes required is uh, n minus 1 do not get confused this n minus 1 and this n minus 1 this is the pass to calculate the maximum pass uh, required for sorting is n minus 1 whereas this is the comparison number of comparison of uh, you know the elements that is in per pass per passes this uh, n minus 1 so and n minus 2 n minus k and so on right something when you add uh, all the comparisons or you can even call this as an iterations when you call all when you add up all these things n minus 1 plus n minus 2 and so n minus k then 2 1 you will have something called an arithmetic progression right something like that the sum of all the iterations is equals to sum of i tends to 1 to n n minus i which is nothing but n minus this this all i you can put it i and that ranges from 1 to n actually it, it ranges from 1 to n minus 1 so that's a typo error here so it's not uh, n because but you can even call this n because anyway when you add this is 0 right so 0 plus something and so on why right. as simple as that and you can even uh, call this as uh, the shorthand notation of the arithmetic progression n into n minus 1 divided by right say for example if i have six elements take a look at that six elements our n is equals to six then the uh, number of pass required is n minus one which means we need five passes so we need one two three till five and the comparison per passes like as i told you six minus one is five five pass are required in uh, pa uh, five comparisons are required in pass one and 4 and so on till the value of n minus 1 which is nothing but fifth pass will have one comparisons and something like that and the total iteration will become 6 into uh, 5 divided by 2 that will become 15 so we'll be having 15 iterations so we'll be taking a look at that in much detail during our numerical section right so i hope you really enjoy this video in the next lecture we'll be taking a look at the numerical problems pertaining to the bubble sort see you then Bye-bye.